burning too efficiently, which means it needs a service. So first of all, let's uh, let's have a look at the problem. I've got a bit of fuel in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to light it quickly. And uh, and see how well it burns. So you can see it is burning in the central chamber. Hopefully the jets should start drawing the maths up. Which we're starting to get now. A little bit. Don't know how well you can see that. Wow, okay. So that's that's actually gone out. Uh so what it means is that it needs a clean. Now, these get corroded like any other sort of metal, and you can see I've had my Trangia for a while. These little holes are quite sort of pitted and dirty. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty that fuel out, I'm going to give it a clean, and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, all I've got here is an old washing up bowl with uh, some warm water in it. I've emptied out the uh, the burner, so there's no fuel left in that. And I've got an old toothbrush, and all I'm going to do is give it a good scrub. I shouldn't need to need, use any uh, sort of washing up liquid or anything, but um, if I need to, then I can add that in later. But uh, for now, I'll just get a nice lot of warm water on it, and pay particular attention to these jets. I'm also going to uh, take the lid, I'm going to pop the o-ring out, the seal, if I can. I'm going to put that in the water and I'm going to give that a good scrub as well. Now you should be able to see all that corrosion and dirt that's come out of the burner in the bottom of the bowl. And this is now much cleaner. Now obviously it's still, still full of water so I need to um, Leave this out in the sun to dry, let all that water evaporate out. And then I'll show you what I'll do next. So, now that it's dry you can see that it's um, much cleaner. A lot less uh, corrosion and nonsense around in these holes. If any of them still have anything, there's one that's a little bit gunky just there. Just take a needle or a pin. And... Clean it out. That's better. So, all of those are now clean. It should work much better. We'll have a test in a minute. 
The other thing that you need to do is um, before putting your o-ring back into your lid this will eventually perish because it's rubber so best thing to do take a piece of kitchen towel take just a little bit of olive oil this is extra virgin good job Mrs Muddy Paws doesn't watch these videos and just just give it a wipe and so help it seal and, and help it to uh, not perish not get eaten away you can use KY jelly but who's got that lying around so that goes in there I've also given it a bit of a bra so I'm not going to lie why not ok so the lid's done let's get some fuel in here and see if we've got an improvement Lit. I want to see if it's going to draw through those jets. Right, there we are. That's burning nicely. Good efficiency. Improved burn. Better heat output. And obviously it's not going out either. So that, boys and girls, is how you clean a Trangia burner. I thank you.